As efforts to vaccinate increase, other concerns from the pandemic linger, specifically the millions of dollars going toward helping people pay for their rent and for their mortgages. And some say it's going to get worse. News 4's Ashley Lincoln digs into that concern and also brings us a story of success tonight. One woman's bounce back from homelessness. That was really like a hard Hardship trying time for me. Three months ago, when News 4 first met Shalon Bell, she was feeling hopeless. When I say y'all, I felt like everything was going downhill. It did for me. Jobless from the pandemic, unable to pay rent, she got evicted during a lapse in eviction moratoriums. Her new home became a storage unit. After our story, the Urban League intervened. We immediately started saying to ourselves that this is just one in a million. So imagine how many other people are facing similar situations. And getting Belle back on her feet, the group moved her into this apartment with the help of management at Cambridge Heights. I can truly say all because of them, um, I am truly like happy. The Urban League's able to help because of federal and state rental assistance dollars. They say rental assistance shot up more than 50% in 2020 compared to 2019 that we're still getting a lot of calls. St. Louis City says they've helped at least 2,100 people with rental assistance. The city recently got 9 million from the latest COVID relief bill. That's on top of the 7.4 million in CARES Act funding received last year. Right now, St. Louis County is channeling nearly 30 million in federal funding for emergency rental and mortgage assistance. Across the river in Madison County, they have $7.8 million to help struggling renters. And St. Clair County is preparing to shell out $7.5 million. We are expecting people to remain in need. While COVID cases drop, the need rises and support is vital to a recovery. It truly feels like an angel stepped in. And there is more help coming from Missouri tonight. Governor Mike Parson just signed a bill allowing for 324 million in rental assistance funding. Now we know a lot will have questions on how to get those funds. We will have links inside the story on the News 4 app. Ashley Lincoln, News 4. Ashley, thank you. Well,